I cannot tell you how many Azure haul videos that I have watched where people are suggesting that you wait until the very last minute to place your Azure order. I need to tell you right now, you need to stop doing that. You are losing money and we're gonna tell you why today. Okay, this is absolutely insane. I totally cut you off because I have no idea what she's gonna say because <laughs> she was going through doing a little bit of well, math. math and realized that something can help you save money. Okay, so we're going to squeeze this in as like a breaking news emergency Azure standard quick tip. <laughs> and there's there's beeping in the background like, this, this is a special report, ladies and gentlemen, coming from the Council of Clan headquarters of the Azure Standard Pricing Update. <laughs> okay, this is insane. I did a post the other day on our YouTube community page reminding people to place their Azure Standards order to make sure, Azure Standard orders to make sure that they took advantage of the sales that were in June so that when your order ships in July, you actually get those sale prices. I try to make a point to close out our cart before the end of the month, but this has kind of gotten me to the point where what I'm gonna show you, I think you should probably check out your Azure cart like the day after your last order ships because this is insane. This is our cart right now. I checked out this cart on June 26th, and it is now July 4th. Our order is due July 7th, and I just wanted to kind of see what was going on over there. <laughs> and so what I did was I went through and I selected each one of these items. So I hold control on my computer and I just select, 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 and it's gonna bring them all up. And I went through and I looked at each one of the items that came up and compared it to the prices that were here. So I would expect that the sale items were going to obviously be changed and maybe a couple items in addition might have changed price. So this is kind of just to give you an idea of what we have. Let's see how many prices changed. All of these. I can guarantee you these were not all sale items. <laughs> okay, so there's 28 items here in my cart that changed price, increased in price. I can promise you none of them went down. So things like peaches, rice, lentils, herb, tooth and gum powder, and frozen veggies, more rice, molasses. Okay, so what I did, I took all these prices, dumped them over here into the grocery calculator. The grocery calculator is inside of our Managing Your Food Supply program, which comes out on July 12th. The food inventory download, we'll link below, and that'll get you on our email list so you can get updates on when the program launches. What you're about to see, viewer discretion advised. <laughs> This is the price that was in my cart when I checked out on June 26th. This is the price that is showing up now. Okay, so from there, I figured out the dollar amount saved per item and the percentage saved. Now, this is really cool. If I sort by dollar amount saved, there's, I mean, 13, 10, 11 dollars, nine, seven on a single item. That's insane. So the other interesting part, I did sort largest to smallest percentage. So these were on sale. You're 20, 30% saved, those were on sale. Things are not going up 20 to 30% in a day. <laughs> but they are going to go up for But look at this. 10. These are not sale items. And we're talking a 15, 10, 10, five, two, three, five percent increase. We're talking a matter of a hours, day. Hours, That you can place your order, you don't have to pay for it, but you lock, lock in, in those price. lower prices. So let's see the totals, this is the fun part. You ready? <laughs> okay, so let's just look at the totals, all right? So it's a $718 order with all of these items that changed in price, okay? You ready for the new price? It's 823. Can anybody do quick math? That's 100. It's $118 price difference, which is insane. For some people, that's a full tank of gas these days. You ready? It's a 14% increase in groceries just for checking out early. Now, 
this was just at the end of last month. What I am going to do from now on is I am going to check out the day after my order ships because with this happening on a regular basis, you can't you can't be spending extra money just because. So far, we've not seen any sign of relief on fuel prices and that's the main driver for a lot of these increases in price because it, getting things from A to B, that's the issue that's coming up. Along with the fact that there are less workers that are willing to be driving for hours on end, days on end, going through mm -hmm. all of the rigmarole that is going on in the world. So this is why it's incredibly important to be partnering with companies like Azure who are committed to providing these resources for people. Here's the remarkable thing. I wonder how many Azure customers are out there who don't have a tool like the grocery calculator, who have no idea that they're missing out on this opportunity of the financial ups and downs and savings that they can create. Let's just take this and multiply this across an entire year. Let's say this happens. 10 months out of the year, that is a $1,180 savings. What would you do with an extra $1,100 in your savings? And that's Let if alone. your budget's only $700. And let's, let's just say you apply this not just to Azure, but to other things that you can keep managing inside of the grocery calculator, which is literally everything. So we do actually have a planned video coming up where we're going to talk about rising food prices, but our plan is to look at those from like Eight years. years ago to five years ago to a year ago to four no. months ago. Yeah. When I saw this, I was like, people, this is happening fast. You need to take advantage of Azure's policy here and be able to lock in those food prices while they are lower. We did a video a few days ago about how we weren't going to be throwing a lot of fear mongering inside of videos. This is not us trying to put fear inside of you, but rather to educate you so that you are able to make best decisions for your family and what you want to do moving forward. If you're new to Azure, you might not know that when you do order something in advance, it does not lock in your ability to get that item. It does not reserve it in inventory. You just that, lock in the price. You just lock in the price. But that also means that they might get a delivery that comes in between when you place your order. So if something is out of stock, there's a chance, there's a good chance that it's going to come in in the next month before your order actually finalizes and ships so that you will actually receive it. We did a video a few months ago about actually keeping out of stock items inside your cart. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't seen that, we'll link that as well. Yeah, I'm going to include the... Azure quick tip playlist at the end of this video.